Okay, so here we have an intermediate level question relating to the concept of a security market line. Uh, it's a multiple choice and it's asking us um, to talk about the meaning and the implications or applications of the security market line. So the question is, the security market line is A, um, can be portrayed graphically as the expected return beta relationship. B, can be portrayed graphically as the expected return and standard deviation of the market relationship. C, uh, provides a benchmark for investment performance. Uh, D is A and C, and the last option is B and C. So let's look at our options and see if um, we can eliminate some right away or if we can um, um, look at it logically. So we know that the SML um, does give us the expected return for any of these key assets. Therefore, we can use the expected return to compare it to the current return that the security is providing and the pricing, which means that we can use it as a benchmark for evaluating investment performance. So we know that C is correct. Um, because some of our options, um, well, our options D and E um, include two answers, uh, let's look at A and B to see if any of those are correct or if it's just C. So um, let's look at B. SML can be portrayed graphically as expected return standard deviation of market relationship. Is that correct? Um, well, we know that the SML actually can be defined by this equation. So SML is expected return is equal to risk-free rate plus beta times the risk premium. So expected return of the market minus risk-free rate. So there is a relationship to the market because the market relationship will be defined for beta. However, it's not really the standard deviation of the market um, return that's used in our equation. We also know that the expected return standard deviation of market relationship is actually defined by the capital market line. So we know that B is incorrect and C is okay. Um, let's look at A. Is A correct? Um, well, A says the SML can be portrayed graphically as the expected return beta relationship. Again, without having to even graph it, let's look back at the SML equation. So we have ER, which is the expected return, and um, it's dependent on the risk-free rate, which is, would be our intercept if we were to graph it, plus beta, which is the relationship to the market, um, times the market premium, market risk premium. So actually, well, it is um, the expected return and beta relationship, so if we were to graph it, it would look something like this. Um, you would have beta here, an expected return, and this is the risk free rate. And your graph would look something like this. And the slope would depend on the relationship to the market, which is beta. So A is correct as well. Because two of these options are correct, let's see um, if is it option D or E that gives us both of these. So um, option E refers to the capital market line, which we already know is incorrect. So option D would be our best option to answer this question. So the security market line can both um, be portrayed graphically as expected return beta relationship, and it could also provide a benchmark for investment performance evaluation.